Let's get ready to rumble! Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ding the notification bell to be notified of new videos. All right, hi everyone, welcome to Chasing the Kraken. So this is totally different for me. I don't normally do sort of this type of review sort of video. I usually do a lot of fishing videos, but today um, I bought this oh hoo hoo <laughs> I think that's how, or oh hey hey. Anyway, this little stainless steel stove set uh, off of Amazon. I've got it in Canada. There is a similar version in the US, so I'll put links to these in the description. My affiliate links, if you want to support the channel, that'd be a great way is to click on one of those links to anything you buy while you're in that session. Um, there's a certain portion that goes towards the channel and that would be great, but no pressure. Um, so what I'm gonna do here today, so basically this is a stainless steel stove, comes in multiple parts. So there's a base, there's a small pan that goes inside which holds your, you know, your embers and your fire. And then a top piece comes with this grill it's not exactly brontosaurus steak size, but uh, you know, it'd be good for a couple of hot dogs or whatever. Um, there is a small pan if you wanted to run this on, let's say like some sort of a, a jelly alcohol, like a Bunsen, or not Bunsen, you know what I mean, with the little gel. Anyway, and then there's a top and these guys fold up and down. So the whole idea is that, you know, you can take something like this. So this is your typical Primus stove. It runs on this uh, isobutane cylinder. Um, now, Either one of these will do the job for you, but my concern with something like this is now you're, you know, you have to buy these, whereas, you know, sticks you can find almost anywhere. Uh, and then of course the canisters, you know, what are you gonna do with that canister when you're done? You're gonna try and recycle it. You're gonna throw it in the garbage, hopefully not, but you know, where does this end up? So I like the idea of just having the small kit, finding some small kindling or whatever on the, uh, out at the lake and going from there. So. Uh, we're going to try and do this as scientifically as possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to light the Primus stove and I've got a, a temperature gauge here. So I'm going to light the Primus stove. We're going to put this pot on top and there's one cup of water, so 250 milliliters of water. We're going to see how long it takes to actually come to a boil and then we're going to time that versus this guy once it's, you know, once it's lit, right? Just to give a comparison. All right, so let's get this guy started up. There we go, so we're lit. You know, give it a decent kick. I got the pot. So one cup of water. Let's put that right over top of the burner. And we're gonna use the lid just to give it a chance. And we're gonna time this. So just went on. So I'm gonna say, We'll give it an extra 10 seconds because of my uh, being getting chest set up. And then we'll go over the other one once we get that going. So let's give this a second and see how we do. A few moments later. So that's two and a half minutes. And I'm gonna call that, you know, close to a boil, okay? So I think we're looking pretty good there. So to get it into a full boil, we're looking at 245. So two minutes and 45 seconds for a full boil. Now we're gonna move over to the uh, wood powered stove. All right, so we're gonna let the pot cool down a little bit. So, yeah, it's gonna cool pretty rapidly out here in the thing. And then we're gonna look at this stove. So what I've got here, I've kind of prepared it. I've got a bit of a bundle here with some kindling and some, some smaller twigs and a little bit of paper towel in the middle. Uh, I've kind of wrapped it together just to hold it together with some blue painter's tape that we don't mind burning away. But let's take, now this is one of my favorite fire starting materials is a cotton ball which has been absolutely smushed in with um, Vaseline so we're going to drop that into the middle and I'm going to attempt the old ferro rod start with this just to get it going now just excuse me for today I got a bit of a cold I'm still recovering so if I sound a little nasally that's why but let's try and give this a light and just like that, she's lit. That's awesome. Okay, let's see if we can get it to actually catch. 
Now obviously I can't put the lid on it like this, so we're just gonna hopefully see if our little tinder bundle is going to help us out. Probably be easier if this was a little bit lower. I'm not a, uh, a huge outdoorsman when it comes to, you know, this sort of thing. So I'm, uh, you know, just <laughs> learning as I go. Um, you know, my time in the army, we didn't do a lot of little campfires. So yeah, now it looks like it's catching really well. That's awesome. So we're gonna let this thing go and get up a bit of heat before we put on the water. Now obviously, so the temperature gun, the whole idea is right now, just so you know, it's 10 degrees. These stones are 10 degrees. So what I'm gonna do is once we're done here, I'm gonna move the stove and we're gonna see how hot it is underneath it. Just while we're getting the fire started. So this is my Mora, uh, Mora Kniv. It's a Swedish brand of knife. Uh, there's a bunch of these. I have a fishing version, which is stainless steel, and this one's carbon steel. Uh, really great knives, uh, super inexpensive on Amazon. What the hey, I'll throw in the link on that. But um, yeah, anywhere you can pick these up. For what you pay for them, really excellent. And then I did the old, I made a little paracord wrap with a spot to put the uh, ferro rod. All right, so we're almost there. I'm gonna say we are. So now I'm gonna maneuver the lid right onto there. All right, so the pot. The pot is now basically as cool as it, it needs to be. So one cup of water. Putting on the lid. Let's start that timer. Actually, we're gonna drop in a couple more little pieces just to ensure we have a good fire going in there. Okay, now this piece goes on, fits fine, starting the timer. Now this pot, I picked it up at Value Village, so it's a, you know, it's not my wife's fine cookery. <laughs> so no worries about getting this one a little bit soot covered, but keep that in mind, you will get a little bit of soot on whatever you're using. All right, so a decent amount of flame. Should be getting some good heat up there. You can see we've got some condensation building up on the top. A few moments later. Okay, we're at three and a half minutes. So we're already quite a bit past what the Prima stove is doing. And there you go, we're at a boil. So four minutes for the, uh, for the wood-powered stove. Not too bad. All right, let's wrap up. All right, everyone. So uh, we brought our one cup of water to a boil. So the Prima stove, shown here, um, convenient. You know, fast, two minutes and 45 seconds, you know, fully adjustable. Now this little guy, obviously not as uh, adjustable. I mean, you can adjust it by the amount of wood that you throw in there. Um, but, you know, not as much of a fine tuner and not quite as fast. So it was two minutes and 45 seconds for the Primus stove. And we were at four minutes, almost exactly, with the wood powered stove. But a matter of a, a minute and 15 seconds to boil water, that's not too bad in my opinion. Uh, the convenience again is that all you need with this is you need the kit and you need your naturally occurring wood. Um, you know, maybe another downside is that you can't just turn this off. I mean, you could. We could put a little bit of water in here. Um, right now, I'm not going to. I'm just going to let it burn. But you can see we have some discoloration on the top, but the outside is, you know, staying nice. And we're going to try a little experiment here, hopefully without burning the place down. So as I mentioned, it was 10 degrees in the, on the rocks underneath this thing. And if I can do it without burning myself. Okay. Yeah, it gets pretty hot under there. So we are at 80 degrees right now on the rocks. Go a little bit deeper. Ah, it's only 50 degrees, you know, one layer down. So you know, you should be able to run this. I wouldn't obviously put it on a picnic table, but you should be able to run the stove on some rock or some dirt and not worry about it, you know, catching every little piece of lint or, or uh, whatever on fire. Um, so overall, I'm pretty impressed with it. Now, once I'm done, obviously I'll clean all this up, but uh, yeah, pretty happy. 
Now, if we look at our stove, at our little pot, I mean, obviously we do get a fair bit of soot and, you know, is that creosote? I don't know what you call that. But anyway, a little bit of soot on the bottom. Uh, nothing that wouldn't wipe away with some steel wool or, or, some, or a scotch Brite pad or whatever. And that's it. So thanks for coming along, guys. Um, I'm going to say that I would recommend this little stove. I think it's a cool addition. Actually, if I can get it to work, let's see what the outside temperature is. Yeah, it's 154 degrees on the outside of that. So enough to boil water. So I wouldn't be touching, touching the stove uh, anytime soon. You're going to have to let it burn out. You can pour some water in it, uh, let it go out that way and cool it down. So not as, a, not as uh, quick as the other option, but a very cool option. And like I said, you don't have to haul in fuel. It's right there on the, uh, it's laying on the beach for you. Uh, one little disclaimer though, just so you know, not everywhere that you're going to camp or fish is going to allow you to scrounge for wood. I mean, typically in little twigs like this, no big deal. But in general, make sure you follow your park guidelines. Make sure you follow your camping guidelines wherever you are and don't scrounge for wood if, uh, if it's not available. Now this is all some birch that I bought, so I actually brought it with me. I just shaved off some, some bits for it, but you know, driftwood or you know, some dead branches and stuff would, would work really well. And yeah, the fire has just gone out. Uh, it'll take a little while to cool down. But if you guys have any questions about this, uh, let me know. Any feedback on the review, I'd really appreciate it. All right, guys, we'll, uh, we're heading out, hopefully uh, fishing for the last time this weekend. Uh, if I don't talk to you before then, wishing everyone a Canadian happy Thanksgiving. And for our American friends, you're going to have to wait for your turkey a little bit longer. But uh, uh, yeah, we'll stay in touch on that one. All right, guys, uh, let's get cracking. All right, have a great day. Above that, you get a grill if you want to barbecue a, a what? A, what's the word that they use in the Flintstones? A uh, a big uh, big steak. Big. I'm gonna edit this out.